Hey guys, I'm Mark McKillier with Live Anabolic, and today I want to show you how to build a killer chest right here at home. You don't have to go to the gym. All you need is a little bit of imagination, and you got to stick with it, guys. So today I'm going to show you how to do three different exercises, but instead of kind of that gym mentality where you do a, a set and then you stop and you rest for a minute, then you do another set and you stop and rest. We ain't going to do this, okay? We're going to ramp up the intensity, make it a little more complex. So this is going to be a superset, or you might even call it a triset, because we're going to do three completely different exercises for the three different parts of our chest. So we're going to be hitting the lower chest, the mid chest, and the upper chest. Guys, it's really hard, okay, to build a fantastic, really impressive chest if you don't hit the muscles from all these different angles, okay? And that's easy to do at the gym, but when you're at home, you got to know what you're doing, okay? So I want to show you how I've modified my den, okay? It's real straightforward, guys. No special equipment. All I'm going to be doing is using some dumbbells. First of all, I pulled this cushion off of my couch. Now, I'm going to show you why in a minute, but I'm going to be laying on this, okay, and I'm going to be doing flies, and the whole reason I'm using this cushion as opposed to doing it on the ground is because it will elevate my torso, and it will give me a wider and longer range of motion when I'm doing flies. Even if I'm doing a pressing movement, when my chest and back are elevated up off the ground because I'm going to be laying on this cushion, I'll be able to pull my elbows further back behind me, which gives me a bigger range of motion. All right, so that is one. Now I'm gonna come back over here to my couch. I'm gonna show you why I've done this. So I've just got my cushion here, okay? Then I've got a couple of pillows that I'm gonna put right here. And this is gonna simulate an incline bench. And the reason we do incline bench, guys, is because we wanna hit the upper part of our chest. So I'm going to be using the same dumbbells. I'm going to add some weight though, okay, because this is a much stronger movement here, okay. So I'm going to be, be doing straight up and down presses. But guys, I want you to take a look here, okay. Because my back is elevated a little bit, watch how much deeper my elbows can go. They can go actually behind my back before they bottom out here, okay. Matter of fact, the couch is not stopping my elbows. It's just my range of motion. I can't go any further back. So this is a great range of motion targeting my upper chest. And then the final exercise we're going to do is real simple and straightforward, but because we're going to be gassed already from doing two different exercises with no rest, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do some head elevated push-ups. Now, head ele elevated push-ups actually target the lower part of your chest. Now I'm just going to be using my coffee table, okay? So it's just going to be a straightforward push-up like this, okay? But see how my arms are, are at a downward angle? That targets your lower chest, guys. So all three parts of our chest in one giant superset with very little rest in between each exercise. Keep it to a minimum. And then at the end of this cycle, stop catch your breath for about a minute, okay, kind of let the oxygen get going through the blood, back to the muscles, then do it all over again. I want you guys to do five complete circuits, okay? So five circuits of three exercises is going to really wear you out and you're going to get a fantastic pump, guys. So just follow along. I'm going to show you from beginning to end how to do this. So the very first exercise, guys, I'm going to be doing some flies. now. Remember, flies, you can't use real heavy, okay, dumbbells here. So I don't have a lot of weight on here. And the key, guys, is nice range of motion and nice slow tempo. So I go until my elbows almost touch the ground, and then I bring it up. But don't you don't need to bring it all the way here, okay? I want you to stop when the dumbbells are about 10 inches apart. So slow down and then slow up, okay? I want you to knock out about 10 to 12 reps of this, okay? So you need to pick a weight that's difficult to do with good slow form for 10 to 12 reps. And it's okay to have a slight bend in your elbows. I don't want you to try to lock this out and do that, okay? That puts a ton of stress on your elbow joints. So have a nice bend 
and keep that bend consistent throughout the entire range of motion. Now if I was doing this straight on the ground without this cushion behind me, I would not be able to go nearly as deep with my elbows, which means I wouldn't get as big a range of motion, all right? So very next exercise is the incline presses, but I can do a whole lot more weight, so I'm going to add some weight real quick. These are some really cool dumbbells, guys. You just put them in there, okay? Turn the handles. I've just doubled the weight right there. All right. No rest, okay. Straight over here. All right. Once again, 10 to 12 reps. Full range of motion. Where's it targeting, Mark, and why? What does it look good as? Guys, this is hitting my upper chest. Okay. You don't need a bench at home. You could just make use of your couch and cushions with just a little bit of imagination. Man, I can start to feel that lactic acid building up because I'm not giving it time to rest. All right, we're done here. Dumbbells go down, no rest, finish off with my head elevated push-ups. Now guys, this is targeting my lower chest. Three exercises back to back, very little rest between. I hit my middle part of my chest with the flies, hit my upper chest with the incline presses, hit the lower chest with the head elevated push ups. So I'm going to need about a minute. So if you guys aren't in really, really good shape, you're going to need a little longer because supersets or trisets in this case really not only get your heart pumping and get you out of breath, but you build up a lot of lactic acid in your muscles. So typically, anything that lasts more than about 30 or 40 seconds of intense work, your body simply can't flush that lactic acid out quick enough. It goes to the liver, recycles, converts it back into glucose, sends it back into your bloodstream and to your muscles. But anyway, guys, you're gonna feel the burn, okay, when you do this type of workout. That's why, in this case, I would say minimum 60 seconds for me, and I'm in really good shape. You guys might need 90 seconds to two minutes. I want you to do the entire circuit all over again, four more times, total of five. Guys, I promise you're gonna get a fantastic pump using nothing but stuff laying around in your den and some dumbbells. So I hope you liked the video, guys. Please, you need to subscribe to this channel and I know y'all have a lot of friends that could benefit from watching some of these videos. Be sure and just share this thing with them, guys. Give us a little thumbs up, you know, hit that little icon below the video. Post some comments because we want to hear what you guys are thinking. And then finally, guys, come on. This is not going to happen overnight, right? You got to always stick with it and never give up on yourself.